Today, we're going to determine, is Casey Munchkin the greatest eat the dot game console retro of all time? Let's take a look. This is the instruction manual, and it kind of looks like Pac-Man. If you pause it and read it, you'll see there are some differences. And as you can see, the manual has a lot of care in its design. Now the Odyssey 2 has a keyboard which is different than most consoles so it does have an advantage and as we'll find out later what that means. And that's the back of it. How many munchies can your munchkin eat? So I'm going to go over the pros and cons. Here's the game. And obviously you're the blue KC Munchkin. Pro, there's no flashing sprites. This game is solid. It handles exactly what it can handle. There's no blinking. Second, the dots are moving. That's a revolutionary idea. Three, I consider these great graphics, especially for the time. They're clear, they're fun, they're animated. Everything's animated nicely. And it's smooth. I guys got killed. Nice animation on the death too. Short and sweet. And here you eat the dots. You hear that nice sound. Now, the monsters, like Pac-Man, they start from a beginning box. And also you can go through and take that tunnel. This game is not very easy. Because they don't stay purple for long. The uh, AI is very good. And you get a little celebration. So, a cool animation when the maze completes. That's another bonus. I think I see some more pros as well. Is this game perfect? No. I like that satisfying eating and ripping sound when you eat a ghost, especially many ghosts. And she, there's they're really not ghosts, they're munchkins, but they do turn into ghosts. The other pro is a high score entry. You can actually type your name up to six letters. Also, it's hard to flip the score, but a con is it's only one player. Now this is the difficulty. The game gets difficulty in a nice manner. Here I skipped ahead where I got 700 points plus. Boy, is this game fast. You only get one life. This is it. Another pro. There's more mazes to choose from. There's four pre-programmed mazes. And then also an additional four where the mazes turn invisible when you move. Never seen that before. That's a first. Look at that. You think you know the maze? Well, now you got to prove it. Con I missed that I wish it did have was a bonus item. I do like that in Pac-Man. Eleven, the best, a very good one, not the best, is it can randomly produce mazes. And this is the most amazing part. This screen, you can program and build your own mazes. Make your own mazes. You heard me. You, you can make your own mazes. Nobody has ever seen that in a game. And you use the keyboard. So, as you can see, 
This game has a lot going for it. For 1981, one of the best, probably the best retro eater ever made. I think, I think pretty hands down. So in summary, no flashing sprites, revolutionary moving dots, great graphics, cool animation when Maze is done, satisfying ripping sound, high score entry, hard to flip the score, difficulties just right, more mazes to choose from, invisible mazes, and endless generated mazes. You can make your own mazes. And the winner for the best retro game is KC Munchkin. The best retro dot eating console game of the 80s, hands down. Eat, eat.